and welcome back. So you've narrowed down your brainstorm to a few ideas, maybe even just one idea. Now you need to actually make them. This is where it gets really fun. Let's talk about prototypes. A prototype is basically a rough draft of your project. It's a way to test out if your idea works. It's not meant to be a final product. In fact, chances are your prototype won't work the first time and that's fine. Mine usually don't. Failure is a good thing here. It's something to learn from. During this stage, I might actually want to prototype all of the ideas I narrowed down to to decide which I want to move forward with. But for this video, I'm just going to work on prototyping one of them, the pom-pom booby trap. When it comes to prototyping, I like to break down the project into parts. That way, if one part works and the other doesn't, I can figure it out one thing at a time. For this prototype, there's two parts. First, sensing when someone is trying to take the chocolate, and second, releasing the booby trap. Let's start with the first part. I'll actually do some research here to figure out what are some good ways to know if someone is trying to take my chocolate. I could use a distance sensor or a touch sensor. I might even try both to see which works better. The booby trap part is a bit trickier. I'll start by making some more detailed drawings. I'll actually kind of do another mini brainstorm to refine the idea of how exactly I'm going to shoot or drop the pom-poms. Then I'll start building. Even though I drew out some ideas, I'll often find as I build, I play around with the idea further and change things on the fly to get a sense of what will and won't work. I'm making this prototype mostly out of cardboard. It doesn't need to look pretty. As I said, the prototype is a rough draft. You can see I even made some mistakes and had to try different things out as I built. And that's okay. The point is to learn from the prototype. For my booby trap prototype, I used a micro bit. But for the do your bit challenge, if you're under age 15, you don't have to build the project with a micro bit. You can also make a paper prototype. A paper prototype is one that you sketch out instead of actually building or coding. It's usually used for software or apps so users can test an idea out without the designer actually having to program an entire thing. But we can also use it for projects that aren't software. Let's say I want to make something a lot more complicated or expensive or something I don't have the tools for. Like instead of making a booby trap that drops pom-poms, I want it to drop slime. The problem is I don't actually want to make a huge mess in my room. And what if I don't even have a micro bit? That's okay. Slime going to make a paper prototype instead. I'm going to use my sketches as part of my prototype to explain the concept in more detail. And instead of programming an actual micro bit, I can write out how the code will look or what it will do. I can even draw a storyboard that shows how the whole thing works or make a small model. I've done a lot of building in this video and now it's your turn. You probably won't have time to make an entire prototype just during this video, unless you're feeling really ambitious. So instead I'm giving you homework, sorry. <laughs> make your prototype. This part should hopefully be a lot of fun. And it might be a little frustrating too sometimes, but don't worry, things aren't always going to work and that's fine. That's the design process. Good luck and have fun.